All right, YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to the channel for another reaction video. We obviously had earlier in the week the reaction to the Lego Star Wars trailer, the brand new one from Gamescom, but now we're going to react to something a little bit different, and that is the Star Wars Visions uh, official trailer, which is a kind of like Star Wars crossed anime style um tv series i believe it is that they're doing and it's kind of obviously it's going to be animated it's going to be um in the anime art style and it looks really really cool um from what i've heard about it it's a great idea i've always thought star wars could work in an anime format um and this is kind of the first look we've gotten uh behind it so what we're going to do is we're going to watch the trailer and we're going to talk about it a little bit afterwards but for now we'll watch it and then we'll talk after so let's get to it long ago a great warrior came to this village and entrusted our ancestors with this. Its power and responsibility now lie with you. I already like this. Bro, I already like this. You've been guided by the Force since you were born. At last, the moment arrives. It's the first time I've confronted such darkness. Something ancient and sinister. What? <laughs> Oh my god. That's cool. Responsibility. Bro, what is going on in that scene? <laughs> I mean, bro. Off initial reactions, basically, that was lit. If I could put it into three words, um, there was so much that went on in the trailer, so much I want to talk about. So we'll rewind it, we'll go back through and we'll talk about it as we go. Um, so let's go back to the start. Obviously, hooded figure, I've turned the volume down so I can talk over it. Um, this is like, I love that they've introduced it as kind of this like old school samurai story, uh, you know, like Naruto background kind of thing, you know, going way back to a village setting. Um, obviously, Kyber Crystal being um, entrusted through Ancestor, through Generations, um, another really, really cool ad addition to the story. Um, it just builds that um, that background and that history behind what the story is going to be about. And then they also talk about passing down what's in this box, which is, of course, a lightsaber. Now, no actual recognizable lightsaber hilt. Um, so again, it's going to be, I'm assuming, brand new. Um, one that we haven't seen yet, which is really, really great. And then the assembly of a lightsaber. Look at this. Can we just... Okay, first of all, this was sick. I really liked this. The The way he draws it, it is. It's like a samurai sword. Like, <laughs> he's just... Instead of being here and igniting it like this, he's legit pulling it from his hip. How does man not, like, cut himself on his rib cage? <laughs> by igniting his lightsaber later and then we jump to the next scene and this chick has six she's just got six lightsabers just chilling like we thought grievous was a lot we thought you know having two double-ended lightsabers were a lot in the clone wars and then this chick's just like nah nah i'm gonna one up literally everybody and i'm gonna have six red lightsabers not one not two not three not four not five but six red lightsabers because she can that's pretty hectic like i mean if you didn't already and on top of that 
she looks like she's in Inquisitor's armor. We all know by now what Inquisitor's armor looks like, but she looks like she's in Inquisitor's armor. I just... If we go back and have a look... Again, sick. And she just... Like, they almost look like they curl out. Like, they're... If you, I'm trying to get the right frame. But it's, it's almost like they... Are whips... And then, and then they ignite it. it did you see it? Like, the, the, I just had it. There, look. It's almost like they're curved when she ignites them. Like, they're in whip form, and then they go into, like, a straight um, blade, essentially, which is hectic. Um, again, obviously, uh, a Padawan learner in training from uh, someone that's at a high level, or he's fighting a villain, peeping the red lightsaber in the background, He's obviously quite young, an easy target for what could potentially be a villain in the story. Um, again, we do see a lot of red lightsabers in this. Red is typically the color for the dark side, um, but the amount that we see in this, it makes me wonder if they're going to continue that narrative or maybe in this period of time, way back when, it's not due to a lightsaber or a kyber crystal bleeding that causes that red lightsaber, but it's hard to say. It, there could just be a ton of villains in this show. Again, like, you look at this. What is this? This is, like, nunchuck lightsabers. <laughs> like, they're just, they've pretty much just gone, let's take every single weapon in the history of everything and let's make it into a lightsaber, is what they've done here. This is pretty, I'm, I'm not complaining, it looks sick, but, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of what they, what it seems like. Again, more, more villains... These fight scenes are going to be incredible. Um, this guy is literally just catching a lightsaber before he gets cut in half. So, I mean, why not, right? Again, we know the Empire is going to be included. Um, we see Star Destroyers. We see Stormtroopers throughout the trailer as well. Not sure how the younger characters are going to come into it. Are they going to be part of the main story? Are they side characters? Do we follow one specific character or is it a bunch of different stories? Um, that's hard to know as well. This is the chick from before that had the six lightsabers from the looks of it. Um, I don't know if she sprouts more arms or if you just can't see them and they're out of scene. Um, but again, we see her again. She seems like she's some kind of um, figure leader or, or headpiece. This... I'm not sure if we've seen creatures like this before, whether they're creatures or it's just a mask, I'm not sure. Someone could possibly correct me in the comments down below. But again, using the Force to stop a bullet. We've seen Kylo Ren do that with Force Freeze before. Um, definitely a really cool ability, but one we don't see often. So it's nice that they reintroduce that. So it does say here, nine original stories. So we could be following, if we go back, Nine original stories. So obviously there's going to be a ton of different characters. Maybe we follow a different character in each of these stories. Not 100% sure. But they're definitely showing a lot in this trailer. That sounds like Adam Driver. I don't know about you guys, but that guy sounded like Adam Driver. Just saying. It's not Kylo, obviously, but it just it sounds like the same voice. This guy looks completely badass. Not sure who he is, but again, like... Ty something in the background can't really quite tell what it is but it's some kind of tie um and obviously red lightsaber so it's some sort of inquisitor possibly i don't know dark side vader replacement figure in the future i don't really know where this comes into the timeline that was slave one or a ship of the same kind you know we've obviously seen slave one uh in a plethora of situations but you know, we don't see often see too many of that make. So is he going to be involved in this somehow? Is it just coincidence that it's the same type of starfighter? Hard to say. Again, Force Freeze, Stormtroopers. This guy looks like another potential freaky villain, which I'm all for. The more villains we get, the better. I'm a dark side guy. I love it. This guy's definitely evil. The more the more I look at this old man, he's like the the evil Mr. Miyagi, like, Master Roshi type character, but he's, like, bad. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's, he's like, the, the old, wise, like, freakishly powerful leader at the background of all of it. He's, like, the final boss, I reckon. That's, that's my guess. 
what is can we talk about this guys what is going on with whatever this lightsaber is here we come through we get a snippet of a gatling gun right <laughs> a freaking heavy troopers whatever you want to call it heavy blaster right and it flips to this motherfucker who decided to be like yeah i have an umbrella and I'm just going to put a lightsaber, like, I'm going to take the actual umbrella part off it, right? And I'm going to get each of the pointy sticks that sticks out, and each of them is going to be a lightsaber. We're not even using weapons anymore, guys. We're taking umbrellas and, and turning them into, into lightsabers. I, like I said, not complaining. I think it's sick. It's very creative. It's cool. But yeah, I'm just like, what is going on? Um, all right, let's, let's go back here, because I want to see... If we can get a snippet. I don't know what. Is is this a weapon? Is this somebody's... Is this attached to somebody? Or is it just like... Purely a machine for destruction? We see ATSTs. Right. Here somewhere. Right there. So ATSTs. Or whatever the first order version of them are. And we see this figure again that we're not really sure who they are, but obviously some kind of um, empire relation there on that, some kind of figurehead for them. Venture to Familiar Worlds, obviously Tatooine, where uh, the famous pod race scene in episode one took place, which is really, really cool. I don't know why they include, this is like a music concert. I don't know if maybe the kid is the force sensitive. He looks like he's got kind of Jedi style robes on, but... It's like a music concert. I don't know where that ties in. This little creature person here looks like they're going to be really, really cool. <laughs> and I don't know why. I just feel like they're going to have a cool story. Um, and I'm not sure. Again, this could be the guy from before that we were talking about. But yeah, just, just so many stories to follow up with. I'm guessing this is a dark side character. We saw her earlier in the trailer too. Look at the force lightning here in this. Again, I said this in the Lego Star Wars trailer. Something about Force Lightning is just so cool. Like, dark side, light side, whatever. Whether it's Force Judgment or, or actual Force Lightning from the dark side. It just looks cool. Like, look at this. The two of them are on different sides of a Star Destroyer. Standing out in the space. Fighting each other with Force Lightning. <laughs> what more could you ask for, really? And then this chick decides to shoot herself up with some steroids and i'm not sure what this is like this looks like octane stim from apex legends and she's just jabbed herself with it and then all of a sudden all this like red force lightning wraps itself around her and she goes crazy again so many quick snippets it's hard to keep up with it all There's something to do with babies I don't know, Force-sensitive twins, Force-sensitive babies, who knows. There's the old evil character again. Uh, this is the guy from before. We see... Do we see Boba? Did I just see him? Ha-ha! I knew it was Slave 1. We do see... I mean, I should have known from what it says in the title up here. But again, I didn't know if he was just voicing someone in the show. But we do. We see Boba. So Boba Fett is confirmed to be in Star Wars Visions. Which is hectic. Again, we see that Padawan character dropping down here. Look at the scenery. Like, something anime always does really, really well is the scenery that is in, you know, whatever show or, or anime that it is, the scenery and, and the setup for the actual scene itself is just always incredible. So, seems like they've got some really good writers and artists um, working together on this. And this, this is a character we haven't seen before and for the love of god she's wearing high heels man like come on or it just looks like she is i can't really tell there but um it looks like it and ah uh, it just looks incredible i should have full screened this and and watched it through in full screen but i've just been talking this whole time and not even realized it wasn't in full yeah look there's boba there i don't know how i didn't spot that in the first run through how did i not see that he's literally like the the most obvious sight of him I 
don't know who that chick was, but green lightsaber was sick. Again, look, this is what we saw earlier when she charged herself full of the stim juice and the, the force lightning, and now she's like, Freezer's final form has just taken place, and she's powered up to oblivion. Now they're about to have a hectic fight. Look, see, I told you it was whips. I, d I wasn't going crazy. Look, the whips have, like, wrapped around, and obviously we've seen this in Legends before, but we've never actually seen it in canon with the whips, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but, I mean, I'm all for it. Bring out the, the Legends action with lightsabers. Very, very cool. Obviously, like, a million different things, you know, through that trailer just then and i think it's gonna be fantastic nine different stories i don't know how many episodes each of those stories is going to be is it going to be like a season worth is it going to be um you know one episode per story and they're just going to do nine episodes but again streaming september 22nd so it's just under a month away that star wars visions comes out i'm going to do a breakdown of every single episode of this this show this is something that really has me interested really has me excited um, and I will be doing breakdowns on each of these episodes. I know I say I'm going to do it for every time a Star Wars show comes out. I was supposed to do it for Mando. I was supposed to do it for Bad Batch. I didn't end up doing it. But this one, this has really piqued my interest. I'm really excited. So I hope you guys are excited as well. Thumbs up if you're about anime. If you're about Star Wars anime, even better. Um, but drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. Are you excited? Are you an anime purist and you don't think this is going to work? Like, what What is your opinion? I'm really interested to hear you guys' feedback and and i'm personally super excited so with that said i'm gonna jump out of here sorry about the non full screen i will for future trailers make sure i'm watching in full screen i was just that that's how invested in this trailer i was i didn't even realize i wasn't in full screen like i was just so busy watching the trailer and trying to take everything in that i just fully forgot so i hope that was okay i hope you guys still enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you for tuning in and may the force be with you always.